Nobody's been hurt, and fire crews say they're planning on letting this fire burn itself out. And that was the second train derailment in the Midwest just this weekend. The first was here in Minnesota Saturday. More than 20 cars fell off the tracks here. This was a Union Pacific train. The fire and rescue chief in this community said nobody was hurt, and there is no need for the public to worry. There's no immediate life threat. There's no immediate hazard to anybody. Uh, we have notified anybody that needs a shelter in place at this point. Right now, Union Pacific is still investigating what caused that train derailment. So people in Texas dealing with strong spring storms that are causing some heavy flooding in parts of the state. This is what things looked like in Dallas earlier today. National Weather Service issued a flash flood warning there as streets filled with high water quickly and cars could barely make it through the flooded roads. There's also tornado warnings here. This is a glimpse of a funnel cloud forming in one part of North Texas. And evacuation orders are in place in Southern California tonight as firefighters battle a brush fire there. Fire officials say the flames have spread now, burning more than 1,300 acres in the Pacific Palisades area. It started Friday night, and it's still burning. Fire crews say the challenge here is getting heavy equipment to the terrain where the flames are at to be able to put them out. So far, crews have not reported any injuries in this part of California. Well, Dante, uh, pretty uh, active weather day here locally. Started out wet for some mm -hmm. and uh, kind of dried out maybe a little earlier than we expected today. Yeah, it was really a perfect weekend in all honesty, John. Oh, yeah. I really can't complain about it. Poor folks out in California here. Look here. We've got some rain that's uh, in the eastern portions of California, but really burning out once you get to the mountains. The mountains really uh, dividing the state in half. And so down in Southern California, where uh, John was talking about the Palisades down there, see how dry it is. They got the predominant flow coming through the path. And so that's going to gu uh, gust, uh, gust up the winds. That's going to create other problems for the firefighters. Down here in Texas as well, we have to look at this. We've got severe thunderstorm warnings still going on in the northern portions of Texas, just north and west of Dallas and north of San Angelo as well, and east of Lubbock. So severe weather still pummeling Texas. Here, we are looking good. We've got cloudy skies and dry, but look what's on the way in central Illinois. we got some rain coming our way, and it's heavy at times. Right there, it's thunderstorm activity, but we're not going to have the same dynamics and thermodynamics in play here tomorrow morning when we start to see the rain. 62 outside right now, it's still nice and warm downtown Springfield, looking pretty good. Uh, other area temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s, 59 in Wellington, 61 in Kettering, uh, 59 in Greenville. We're calm to light as far as the winds go, and the skies are cloudy, so that's going to keep us on the milder side as we head into the overnight. Starting off first thing in the morning, temperature's going to be in the mid 50s. Uh, so you probably won't even need the jacket. You probably get by with the long sleeves. Here's a look at the soil temperatures. You should know why we're checking these out. Look how warm they are. Soil temperatures in the 70s. There's some 50s in the outliers, but for the most part, that soil is starting to warm up. Our good friends, the cicadas, are coming. Uh, 64 degrees and warm temperatures is what they like as far as the soil goes. Uh, aerial soil temperatures in the 60s and 70s. So they're likely to emerge in mass this week. Won't that be a treat? Look at that. we got warmer temperatures coming our way, too. We're going to be above average for the most part for much of this week and even into the weekend as far as temperatures go. So that's going to heat up the soil and really get them to start going. So here's 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Look at that rain that's coming in from central Illinois. That's going to give us some heavy rain at times as we go through the morning rush. Even at noontime here, we're seeing a, a soggy lunchtime. So if you are headed out at lunchtime, you're going to have to take the umbrella with you and probably indoors. Now, it looks like it just turns scattered as we get towards the afternoon and the evening rush, a heat or mist shower. Don't think we got any thunderstorms, just that in play there for the dynamics. And then we're cloudy as we move into the evening and overnight hours tomorrow night. And then through the day on Tuesday, Tuesday morning and Tuesday afternoon, there could be a pop-up shower or an isolated thunderstorm. We start to warm up the air mass uh, as we get into the day on Tuesday. So the kiddos at the bus stop tomorrow are going to need the rain gear, the umbrella, the rain boots, and the long sleeves with those temperatures starting out in the 50s. So 55 tomorrow morning, mostly cloudy and dry. Then tomorrow afternoon, upper 60s, scattered rain showers, heavy at times, so we're not as warm. Here's the five-day forecast, mid-70s for Tuesday, back to seasonable for this time of year. A few showers around. 81 for Wednesday, partly cloudy skies, a pop-up shower storm, and then turning deliciously summer-like. Temperatures in the mid-80s for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, partly to mostly sunny on Thursday and Friday. A few showers and thunderstorms, but not a washout return for Saturday. Overnight lows 
in the 60s. Kirsty's on TV is going to give you the latest update coming up tomorrow morning on Daybreak starting at 425. Miami County officials are hosting a click it or ticket event this week to promote safe drive.